I am the church of God in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Basalwadi. Hallelujah, Basalwadi. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. All the, time. the Lord is good. All the time. Amen, Basalwadi. You know, temptation sometimes is that when we say the Lord is good, it's for someone to look at their lives and their situation. And because your life and your situation is not that good, you are tempted to doubt that. But we are not saying the Lord is good because everything is going well in our lives. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We are not saying the Lord is good because it's all roses and everything are going our way. But we are saying the Lord is good because that's who he is. Amen. 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 That's who he is. And our situation do not change who he is. Amen. He is good. Amen. The Bible says the Lord is good. And his mercy and his grace, they enjoy it forevermore. Amen. They are new every morning. They are new every day. Amen. 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 That's why we say the Lord is good, because that's who he is. Amen. Our situation, our circumstances, they've got nothing to do with who the Lord is. Amen. They don't change him. Amen. Amen. God is good and God loves us. Amen. I just want to remind each and every one of us this morning that God loves us. Amen. 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 God, God loves you. God cares about you. Amen. God has good plans about your life. Amen. Plans not to harm you, but to prosper you. Amen. Plans to give you future and give you hope. Yes. Amen, Mazalwan. Amen. You might be pressed at the moment. You might be in a situation where you had hoped or be more so. But just be reminded this morning that God loves you. Amen. And he has good plans about your life. He has good plans about your life. He is mindful of you. Amen. He cares so much about you. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son. So he cares about you. You are in his mind. He wants good things for your life, Amen. about your life. Amen, Pastor Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord, Pastor The Lord is good. The Lord is good, Bazalwani. All the time. Bazalwani, you've got to say it until you believe it, Bazalwani. <laughs> the Lord is good. All the time. Uh, Bazalwani, the past few weeks in our morning service, our Sunday school, we had started on a journey uh, uh, on a topic of uh, Jesus is coming. Amen. Amen, Bazalwani. We had started on a, on, a, on a journey where Jesus is coming. And we are saying he's coming back. And when we are saying he's coming back, we mean what he once came. That's what we agreed on the past uh, three weeks when we had that session that uh, Jesus Christ, he came first as a Lamb of God. That's how he was identified. And when John saw him, he said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 the, the, the book of John, uh, chapter 3, verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an eternal life. For God did not give his Son to condemn the world, but to save the world. Amen. Amen. Those who believe in Christ are not condemned, but if you hear the message of the gospel and you decide to ignore it, by default you have condemned yourself. It is not God who has condemned you. You choosing not to accept the message of the gospel, you are condemning yourself. But God did not send his son to condemn the world, but he sent Christ to come and save the world. So that's what we spoke about uh, uh, three weeks ago, Bazaran. We spoke about when Christ came to save the world. And we said, we spoke about salvation, Bazaran. Salvation as a gift. We said salvation is a gift from God. Amen. We did nothing to earn it. No works could have qualified us to be saved, but it was purely the grace of God. So salvation is by grace, through faith, and it's by Christ alone. There is no other way that man can be saved except through Jesus Christ. Amen, Amen. Amen. There is no any other way, Pastor Ryan. 
We were all sinners at some point. We were all bound by sin and there was nothing we could do to save ourselves. There was nothing we could do to rescue ourselves in the situation that we were in. By nature, we were object of wrath. So, God loved us. And he demonstrated this love towards us by sending his one and only begotten son to come and rescue us and deliver us from this kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light so that we do no longer fulfill the desires of the flesh but now we walk in the spirit Hallelujah, Bazarani. So that's where we were, Bazarani, uh, 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 the past uh, few weeks when we were dealing with the subject of, 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 of the return of Christ. Because when we had our, our, our word, uh, we read on the book of, in the book of Revelation, uh, chapter 1 and the last chapter of the book of Revelation, where it says, Behold, I am coming quickly. If God wants us to hear a certain message, Pastor Lani, whether we miss Sunday school or we miss the main session, it will be sent to you via WhatsApp, Pastor Lani, because yeah. this is the message that God wants us to hear at this particular moment. Like yeah. So, Pastor Lani, one, one, one of the biggest impediments to the church at the moment, Pastor Lani, it's, it's, it's people who profess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, but live a life of sin or of disobedience. That is, a, that is one of the biggest impediments, Pastor Van. When we, when we say we love Christ, when we say we are born again, but we are still living a sinful life, it's an impediment because the world looks at us and say these people are saying they are saved. But there's no difference between us and them. Amen, Pastor Van. For, for true salvation, Bazaar, it brings transformation. True salvation brings transformation, Bazaar. Uh, the, 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 the book of, of 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17, and Mr. Mama Holland touched, touched on it the, uh, Lena, Lena, Lena this morning. Uh, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. The old has passed away. Your old sinful nature has been dealt with at the cross. Behold, the new has come. So, Basarani, there's a seed of righteousness that has been planted in us. And a seed of righteousness needs to produce fruits of righteousness. The Bible says a good tree produces good fruit. You don't expect bad fruits from a good tree, Basalwan. Now that you are saved, now that God has done this miraculous work in your life, the fruits must match that which God has already attained or accomplished in your life. So we need to walk into that which Christ has already attained for us, Pastor Lord. Now that you are saved, walk as somebody who is saved. Now that you are no longer in the kingdom of darkness, walk as a child of light. Now that we are saved, I said transform uh, 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 salvation brings transformation in our lives. Like Pastor the book of Ezekiel says, Uti, and God says, Uti, and I will give you a new heart. Amen. He says, I will, I, will, I will remove the heart of stone. Yeah. Amen, Pastor Lord. The heart of stone cannot submit to God's way, Pastor Lord. The heart of stone does not desire God's uh, laws. It does not desire to do what is right. It is a heart of stone. It is a heart of stone. And he says, I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit 
in you. We spoke about the Holy Spirit, but around the work of the Holy Spirit uh, 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 last, last two weeks back in our in our in our, in our morning session that this, uh, the, the, the grace of God has, has appeared to all mankind, and this is the grace of God that helps us to live a, go a, a, a godly life. It restrains us. Hallelujah, Amen. So God has planted this thing in us, but. So, so, eh, 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 our, work, our work with God, Bazarani, it is not just a passive thing, Bazarani. I get Bazarani. It is not just the Holy Spirit doing things in us and then now we live as we want, as we please. We have a responsibility to be obedient to what God is saying. Amen, Bazarani. Uh, Mr. Mr. Paco, you touched on it, on, 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 on it this morning. Uh, the book of, of Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 where Christ says not everyone who calls out to me Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of God only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter not everyone who says to me Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of God but only those who do the will of the Father Jesus Christ look, 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 looks at, at, at the people Mazarani, and he says, why do you call me Lord, Lord, but do not do as I say? There's only one way Mazarani, to prove that we really love God, that we really love Christ, is when we obey him. Yeah. Our love for Christ, our love for God, is a matter of obedience, Mazarani. We cannot separate the two. We can we cannot separate the two. And 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 and, and sometimes we make it as if it's, it's difficult to obey God, Basalon. But you know, when you have been captured by this love that God has for you, when you have been arrested by this love that God has for you. It becomes easy to submit. Yeah. If, 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 if it, is, it is still difficult, Bazarwan, to desire God, like Mr. Paco said earlier on, you might, you might not have been actually captured by, or you don't have the full revelation of this love that God has for you. You know, when you know that God loves me, He cares about me, He has good plans about my life. My, my life. And when he reveals his plan up for your life, you want to align your life with this plans. Yeah. For you know that the God, the creator of heavens and earth, the one who knows everything and who holds everything together and who has good plans about me and he says this are my plans that I have about your life Amen. you align yourself because you know your mind is limited again you know your sight is limited you know that you only see up to this far but God who is able to call the end from the beginning when he lays down his plan for your life and you know that is a good God He's a loving God. You step into that which He has planned for you. Hallelujah, Bazaar. Amen. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but do not do as I say? Christ says, Uti, my sheep knows my voice. They know my voice and they follow me. A voice of a stranger, they do not follow. As a matter of fact, they run away from it. The voice of God is in his way, Pastor Amen. The voice of God is here. 
and 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 you know I get concerned because there are there there, there, there are two things and Mr. Paco mentioned them. Hey, Pastor, we need to we need to attend the morning sessions, Pastor. We I, I really encourage the church to 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 attend Bible study, Pastor. I I really encourage each and every one of us to be part of because this is where we are we are taught, Pastor. And if we are saying no, the word of God is life, Pastor. We must have this desire in us Amen. to be found, Amen. studied, and rooted and established in this word. Amen. Again, we are saying this is this is life, Pastor. We, we are saying the word of God is life, again, Pastor. You know, it's amazing, Pastor, that we can read all sort of books and finish them, mm-hmm. book after book. How to be successful in one, two, three, four. How to be successful in doing. But we find it hard, we find it difficult to go into the weight. This is not just a book, Pastor. This is life. This is life, Pastor. You know, you will read uh, seven steps about success. And after finishing that seven steps about success, the other author releases three steps about success. And you think, you think, maybe I'm not succeeding because I read seven steps, there's a, there's a quicker way. Let me go read three steps. <laughs> and then after three steps, another author releases two steps. And you're thinking, hey, I'm taking wrong try. <laughs> Let me go and check two steps about, about, about success. You read uh, five steps about a successful marriage, five steps about successful business. Five steps about, and, and, and Basarana, hear me very well, Basarana. I'm not saying those books are bad, Basarana. All I'm saying is that some of those books, if you don't have the foundation, yeah, the Bible, they are very dangerous. They are very dangerous, Basarana. Because the Bible helps us to, 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 to sit, Basarana. When we go through these books, even though they might have good things in them, the Holy Spirit will teach you this one. It is not from me. So, Basarani, what I'm saying, what if we are able to read all these books, Basarani, but this book, the Bible, every question you have about your life, Basarani, is answered in this book. Every question we have about our lives is answered in this book, Pastor. You want to learn about marriage, it's here. You want to learn about raising kids, it's here. You want to learn about investments, it's here. You want to learn about relating with your neighbors. Everything, Pastor. And, 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 and this, this, this are not just words, Pastor. These are not just letters. For the, the word of God is living. Amen. The word of God is alive. It's sharper than a double-edged sword. Amen. And as we eat of this word, Basarani, we become alive. Amen. So now that we are saved, Basarani, the desire to be found in this word is there. God has planted it. We have to be obedient, Rona, and to say we need to spend time in the Word of God, Barcelona. And you know, some, some technology has made it easy for us, Barcelona, because even when we are busy, we are able to go into an audio Bible like Barcelona and put on the headphones and 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 feel our spirit with the Word of God. When you are driving, going to work, Barcelona, it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a long it's a long trip, like Barcelona. You get stuck in the traffic. Instead of focusing on mango driver, mango driver, put on that audio Bible, Master. Allow God to speak to you. Amen. This is how, Master, we are going to be victorious in this walk of faith, Master. Again, the Holy Spirit teaches us all, 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 all things, Master. Like it leads us to all truth, and then it brings into remembrance, like Master. It, it can't bring into remembrance if there's nothing. Amen, Amen. Amen. It can't bring into remembrance if there is nothing. 
Because as we meet these situations, as we meet these things, Bazaran, that, that tempts us, the word of God, again it comes and it reminds you, oh no, you are a child of God. You are a child of light. You cannot be found in this. But if we are empty, it becomes a problem, Bazaran. That's why the Bible speaks of a parable of where uh, 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 when it says when, 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 when a demon is, is cast out of a man, it goes. It's a market looking for a place where it can dwell. And then it finds it finds none. And then the demon says, Let me go back to where I come from. And then when it comes back, it finds the place empty. It finds the place empty. The demon was taken out of this place, Bazaran. It went around. Could not find any place to stay. But when it comes back, the place is empty. And it comes back, it, it settles back. And the Bible says it doesn't only settle back, but it brings more spirits. And then the end of that person is worse than how they were before the demon was taken out of that place. So as we are being taken out of the kingdom of darkness, Bazalwan, and we are brought into the kingdom of light, this is the kingdom where Jesus Christ is Lord. This is the kingdom where Jesus Christ reigns. It is easier, Bazalwan, to confess Christ as our Savior. And we tend to want to separate this thing to say Jesus Christ is our Savior. But it's difficult to say he's our Lord. But we can't separate the two, Bazalwan. We can't separate the two. He's our Lord and Savior. And the fact that he's our Lord, it means he reigns. He reigns in our lives. What he says goes. What he says goes, Bazaran. And we love his laws, Zakir Bazaran, because we know they are good for us, Zakir. They are good. God's word is medication unto our, unto our, unto our flesh, Bazaran. It's food, it's life for us. So now, now that we are saved Bazalwan, by grace, now that we are saved by grace, let's walk in a manner that is worthy of the call we have been called to. Hallelujah, Bazalwan. Amen. Hallelujah, Bazalwan. Amen. Hallelujah, Bazalwan. Amen. God is good. I get the, the, the past few weeks, I get around, we were telling about the, the nice part, I get around. the part that is done by God, I get, I get around, being saved by, by His grace, being loved so much. But we don't want to frustrate this grace, I get around, and we don't want to... Uh, Paul, 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 when he, he, he speaks about, about this grace, Bazalwani, and he unpacks it and he says it, by, it is by grace that we have been saved and stuff like that. And he says, Uchi, where, 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 where sin abounds and the grace of God abounds even more. And, and the next chapter he says, okay, now, now that we are saying Uchi, where sin abounds, the grace of God abounds even more. I am by no means saying that we should live a life of sin so that the grace of God can abound. The Bible puts it clear, clearly around which those who are born of God cannot continue to live a life of sin. Those who are born of God cannot, cannot continue to live a life of sin. So you, you, you can't continue a perpetual life of sin when you have been born of God. Because 
when we say we are saved, Basarali, we mean we are saved. From, we are saved from this earthly life, whereby sin was dominant in our lives. So we undergo the process of sanctification, where we die. I think we have been crucified with Christ, Basarali. We have been crucified with Christ. The old us has been crucified with Christ. And when Christ was raised, we were also raised with him. So we might be here, but we are seated with Christ. So if we are raised with Christ, Bazalani, we have a new nature in us. And this is a nature that desires to please God. This is a nature that does not delight in sin. This is a nature that reflects the goodness of God. For the Bible says we must do good work so that people, when they look at us, they are able to glorify Amen. our Father who is in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah, Pastor Amen. You know, although, although uh, uh, the message started by saying uh, 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 Christ, when he comes back, he, he, he is bringing a reward, Pastor uh, that, that is not where we are holding on, again, Pastor Lord. Because ultimately we know that everything that we do is by grace, I can pass uh, for, 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 for example, Pastor Ron, when you do a garden at home, you are going to use that spade, I can you, I can And we'll place your garden, and your garden is going to be beautiful. But at the end of the day, that harafu will not come back and say, hey, I did well. Look, 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 look at this garden. I did well. It takes it takes no credit, like it was yeah. So even when we stand before God, Basalwana, ultimately, we will be hoping that He will say, "Well done, my good and faithful servant." Not not that we have earned it or we have. It would have been by grace, like it was But we need to be obedient to this, Basalwana. We need we need we need to be obedient to God's word. Uh, the, the, the statement that Christ is, is making here, it is not a, it is not a question, Basarwan. He's making a statement that not all, not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. That is, that is a statement, Basarwan. And, and, and this statement, it, it calls us to examine ourselves. It, it calls us to examine ourselves. The, 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 the psalmist says, test me, O Lord. Search my heart. Search my heart. Examine me, O God. Check my heart, check my motives. And that's the word of God, Pastor. The word of God does that, I can Pastor. It examines us. The Bible says it's sharper than a double-edged sword unto the dividing of the bones and marrow. It judges the thoughts and the motives. So when we expose ourselves to the word of God, Barcelona, it's like we look into the mirror. And this mirror is like an X-ray. It examines us. And it says this is wrong. This is right. Keep on doing this. Hold on, press on. This needs to be uprooted. It's only through the word of God that strongholds are broken in our lives. The word of God examines us. So now that we are saved, Bazaran, now that we know Christ, now that we have been called into this hope, what manner of people? Are we ought to be? The book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 12, it says, Walk in a manner of God who calls you into his own kingdom. It's repeated again, go Philippians 1, verse 27. It says, conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. If 
Ephesians verse 4, it says, Walk in a manner worthy of the calling with which you have been called. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You know, when we say we are saved, but we are still living a sinful life, the Bible likens that to us crucifying Christ once again. Because we are saying what you did was not, was not enough. What you did was not enough to save me from my sinful nature. As a church, Barcelona, that is celebrating 10 year anniversary this year. As a church that has been subjected to the powerful sermons, life transforming sermons that we've been getting, certain things should not be mentioned amongst us. Amen, Barcelona. Certain, certain things should not be mentioned amongst us. They are not supposed to be there. If you have been walking this journey with Rizzi for the past 10 years, or if you have been walking with God for the past 15 years, we can't still be struggling with the same sin we were struggling with 15 years ago, Barcelona. We can't, Barcelona. So we, 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 we track our growth in, in, in Christ, Barcelona. And we say we don't want to be infants. We can't remain infants. For Christ is coming back for a mature church, Barcelona. He's coming for a church that is established, that is rooted in this world. A church that does not fall for each and every teaching. Yeah. Or every way that comes through that sounds fashionable, you fall for it. But we need to be established and rooted in His Word. His Word needs to be our compass, Pastor Rance. And we need to delight in His Word. And if we do so, we will not be found short. We will not run this race in vain. For it will be said, Barcelona, that after we have ran this race, we are disqualified. Barcelona, you know, Christ walked this earth, né? and he was ministering, Barcelona. I'm sorry, I don't have my timekeeper today, Barcelona. If, 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 you know, Christ, when he walked on this earth, Barcelona, uh, the Bible says which he, whenever he will do miracles, many people will believe in him. Ne? He will do miracles and many people will believe in him. But the Bible says which he, Christ will not entrust himself to them. Although these people saw the miracles of Christ and they believed in him, Christ will not entrust himself to them. For he knew their hearts. Well, these people only believe in me because they see, they only see the miracle. And they are only interested in the miracle. It's amazing, Bazaran, that Christ, even though he had multitude and multitude of people who were following him, he only had 12 disciples. But look at what these 12 disciples did, Bazaran. Only 12. They impacted the whole world. Yes. Salvation, the message of the gospel reached us. Most South Africa. At the bottom of the continent, the message of the gospel reached us. Because Christ had 12 people who were committed to following him. So sometimes we measure the success and the health of the church by the size of the building, the big auditorium, wonderful sound system, beautiful programs, and we think the church is successful because of those things. 
Those things are beautiful, Pastor Ron, but they are not a measure of a successful church. They are not a measure of a healthy church. A healthy church is a church that walks in obedience to God. That is a measure of a healthy church, Pastor Ron. A church that when they hear God's word, their desire is to follow it. And they do follow it. So as around when we hear God's word, the Bible says we must not be like a man who looks himself in the mirror. But after looking himself in the mirror, he turns away. And he does not remember how he looks like. But the man who intently look into God's word and do it, he's like a tree that is planted by the water. He's like a tree that is planted by the river. This tree brings forth fruits in season. Now that we are called children of God, now that the seed of righteousness is in us, let us walk in a manner worthy of the call we've been called to. And let our lives produce and reflect the salvation that we speak about. We are a good tree, Basalwan. Let's produce good fruits. Amen, Basalwan.